from New York City, Comedy Central presents Kyle Dunnigan. Amazing. Thanks, you guys. That was a great applause, you guys. You guys, you guys are a great audience. Hey, hey guys, hey guys. Two guys, two guys walked into a bar. And you think the second guy would have seen it or something? Hey. Hey, you guys, you guys, knock, knock, you guys. Hey, you guys. I don't really talk like that. I'm sorry, I don't talk like that. I'm not that, I'm not that dorky. I'm close. I'm close. I'm close. I'm close to that dorky. I did this. I called my home machine to leave a message for myself, and I got nervous leaving that message. I was like, hey, it's me. It's you too. Um, just wanted to remind you to go to uh, Karen's party on Friday. I told her we'd go, so we should probably go. I didn't, I didn't say we'd go, because that would mean we were crazy, which we're not. Okay, I'm rambling. All right, that's it. Love you. Bye. Hey, it's me again. I just want to clear up that last message. <laughs> My mom's been leaving me longer and longer messages. I don't know what it is about the mom message. A lot of detail in the mom message. She's like, hi, it's your mother. It's 7.34 on Tuesday. Oops, 7.35, the clock just turned 7.35. Must have been at the end of the four when I said 7.34, because now it says 7.30. I just sit with my finger on the erase button. But you can't hit it in case the end of the message is like, I'm being attacked. So you have to sit there like, oh my God, hurry up. I can feel myself getting older. That's about it. I get back at her though. I, I treat her like she's senile in public. That makes her crazy. I'll go, don't put that in your mouth. That doesn't belong in your mouth, mother, right? She's like, stop it. My name's not Kyle, it's Peter. I'm your son, Peter, remember? <laughs> Stop it, Peter. <laughs> I wanna tell you guys this story. It's kind of a lame story, so I'm gonna use this looping machine to help me tell it. What happened was I brought this chick back to my apartment with the intent on seducing her. So I put on some music, right? It was like that kind of thing, right? And uh, we start hooking it up, you know what I mean? It was like that kind of hookup. Nasty. And I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah. This is going good, right? Oh yeah. Now I don't want to brag, but uh, it started getting hot and heavy. Oh yeah. Like really hot and heavy. Like, oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. Like, all of a sudden, this chick starts bawling, crying. Crying in the middle of it. So I was like, what's wrong? And she goes, <laughs> nothing. So I was like, cool. Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. But she kept crying, you know, so I had to stop. Obviously, something was wrong. So, uh, you know, I, um, I just patted her head till she fell asleep. Now I'm looking at this unconscious woman, and I'm thinking, oh, yeah. 
Like, oh, yeah. Like, but that's wrong, too. So I just got up and I made myself pancakes. I was guaranteed to get laid. Now I'm making myself pancakes. How, how pathetic is that? But I tried, and they're actually really good. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. It's a really lame story without that loop, I'll tell you that. So, a lot of people think I'm lazy because I get up at like 2 p.m., but that's like 7 a.m. in Japan. You know, if I went to Japan tomorrow, there'd be no jet lag. They'd be like, he's a real go-getter. 7 a.m., ready to go, this guy. Wowee. But that's right. I'm not lazy at all on this side of the planet. I used to set my alarm, but uh, I, hate, I hate alarms. It's, it's so loud, you know? They scare you awake, don't they? There's no warm-up. There's like, pa 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 right off the bat. It's not how you wake somebody up. Pa pa It's so loud, my deaf neighbor came over. She was like, can you turn that crap down? <laughs> that happened twice. I know. My mother was like, that's a terrible joke to say. <laughs> what if a deaf person heard you say that? <laughs> I have an idea for an alarm clock. It reasons you away. It gives you reasons why you should get up. Is that a good idea? I'm going to have Dr. Phil do the voiceover. Because people trust that guy. You'll just hear, I, 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 I mean, look, you could sleep all day, okay? But you, you can't day all sleep. Uh, I see your eyes are closed, but honey, I don't buy it. I like the, uh, the snooze button's a good thing, but even that doesn't even make any sense when you think about it. It's like, I hate getting up in the morning unless it's over and over and over and over again. Then I'm good. Sign me up for that plan. A lot of comedians do impressions of uh, famous people. I, uh, I'm going to take it to the next level. I'm going to do an impression of a famous person doing an impression of another famous person. This is Bill Maher doing his impression of Jack Nicholson. You can't handle the truth, okay? Do you really think you should be asking for the truth if you can't handle the truth? You shouldn't, okay? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is a song. I didn't write this. This actually is a song that uh, John Lennon wrote right before he died. What's that in your hand? Is that too soon? Because I'll wait another quarter of a century. I apologize. I went to Costco for the first time in three years because I just ran out of the crap I got last time I was there. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, it's like a, it's a bulk item store. You can make the craziest grocery list and it's there. I was like, I need, some, I need to buy some mayonnaise, a TV, and a basketball hoop. But I don't want to go to one store. I think it was invented by a guy. He, just, he owned his own warehouse full of crap. And then one day he just snapped. He's like, why am I shipping everything? I just open the door, they can shop here. It's cut out the middleman. And his friend was like, yeah, but it's all wrapped up in bulk packages. Make him buy the whole thing. I don't care. Put a lady out front with a highlighter and I'm done. <laughs> I'm not shipping. I ask myself questions in those stores. I don't ask myself anywhere else. Like, will I live long enough to use all those paper towels? <laughs> You guys are a great audience. <laughs> Best audience in the whole entire universe. Here's my impression of Ray Romano doing his impression of Christopher Walken. Uh, <laughs> oh no, it's all wrong. Uh, I need more cowbell. Uh. Yeah. 
I was behind this really, really old guy at the ATM. I don't know what it is about old people and technology, but it's just, they don't mix. It was like 10 minutes of, oh boy, here we go. Let's see here, okay. I want to withdraw cash, so I have to touch where it says withdraw cash. Okay. Oh, I'm back to main menu. Oh, boy. Here we go again. Could everyone please turn around? I have to put my secret security code in. So please close your eyes. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm back to main menu. This thing's broken. I think when you get older, you just, when we're 80, it'll be like a computer chip you put in your brain, and you just have to think about what you have to do, and then it'll just happen, and you just, you still won't get it. <laughs> like, how do I turn the TV on? You just think about turning the TV on, Grandpa, and it goes on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Grandpa, the, the coffee maker just went on. Were you thinking about coffee, Grandpa? <laughs> Yeah, I, I like coffee, baby. Well, think about the TV, okay? Oh, okay. Grandpa, you just sent me a fax that says you pooped your pants. Are you okay? <laughs> Sorry, what's your name, little lady? <laughs> Tiffany? That's so weird. That's the name of my next girlfriend. Oh, no, Tiffany, I just dropped this. I'll have to get it with my ass muscles. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that was stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just got dumped, you guys. Yeah, what? Who would let this go? You say to yourselves. I don't know, is she crazy? We weren't a good match. You know, I'm a Gemini. She's a whore. Oh, Her dog attacked me. That's how we met. That's a bad omen, you know? And she blamed me like it was my fault. She goes, don't run. It freaks them out more. Oh. I was running for my life. Like, what does she want me to do? Stop? Like, all of a sudden, a raging dog's gonna go, Oh, he stopped. All right, forget it. He stopped. I can't work with this. It's a German Shepherd, too. A German Shepherd. Be more like, Ech, nein, Geschichte Schlabe. Und 99. Und So I... I turn around and see this dog in midair, like, and I was like, no. And she was like, slow motion, freak some out more. <laughs> so I'm dating now. It's, uh, it's kind of awkward. I took a date to uh, Great Adventure, which is an amusement park. It's a bad idea, because I get nauseous, you know. And she uh, wanted to go on the teacup rides really bad. And I was like, OK, teacups. How bad can that ride be? I sat down, I was like, hey, why does it smell like puke in here? <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> you ever try to talk yourself out of being nauseous? That like, makes it worse. Like, all right, dude, just relax, man. We'll all be over soon. <laughs> Look up and pretend like you're having a good time. <laughs> Don't do that again. So now I'm, I'm dating. I had an awkward thing. This girl, I barely knew her. We had to get a home pregnancy test. Yeah, which, there was like 20 minutes waiting for the results. Like, oh, where'd you go to college? Awesome. And then I had to figure out some dash system. It was like a dash meant she was pregnant. There should be a word on there so you know right away. You know, it should say like <laughs> or something clear. <laughs> awesome, man. Hey, don't get the wrong like impression. We use protection, all right? 
Just things, you know, fall off when you have a small penis. But the point, let's get him sure. I'm just kidding, it's huge. Now listen, women say it's huge. Women say it's huge. I use magnums. Not the con and the gun. I'm like, say it's huge! And women, women say it's huge. Being in the bedroom with a new person, so uh, you have to figure out, like, what is this new body, and why does she have a penis? And... <laughs> Getting your socks off, that's a tough move for us guys. You women, you wonder why we leave them on, you know? We're like, no, I look good naked with socks. This is a good look. <laughs> why? We leave them on because there's no cool way to get them off. You got, you know, two options. You could hop the sock off, you know, grab the back. No woman wants to see a naked man <laughs> hopping. It's like, oh, oh my, oh, don't look at me. Or you could peel the sock off with the other foot, you know? But there's, there's nothing more feminine than being like, just a second while I get there. <laughs> second. <laughs> Sec Hold on. Hold on. Once this happens, I'm gonna f the shit out of you. Once you get this situation. Got one. Here comes the other one. <sighs> All right, let's get serious. This is a song that uh, Lincoln wrote right before he died. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, no, seriously. I fell in love, like deep in love, like four years ago, and uh, she moved off to Europe and I didn't want her to forget me, so I wrote her this song. It's called, Hold On. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. This next song is, uh... I have a friend, uh, I knew him my whole life, and uh, he came out of the closet, and I was, I felt stupid that I didn't figure it out, you know? Because looking back, there were signs, like one time we were saying, where's the strangest place you've ever had sex? And he was like, inside a woman? <laughs> and at the time, <laughs> but you look back. Anyway, they don't let him march in the St. Patrick's Day Parade, or his friends, and uh, I think that's stupid. You know, just because they're Irish and gay, they can't march. So I, I, wrote, I wrote this song. Will we go to the bars to get us some drinks? They won't let us march, and we think that stinks. So we won't be there on St. Patty's Day. Because we're fat and we're Irish, we're drunk and we're gay. So pass me the pretzels. Give me me brew if your c is a ladle, me ass is the stew. <laughs> Feel free to sing along. Well, some say it's evil, some claim that it's vicious. I happen to think that it's magically delicious. <laughs> so let's play that game. Called Take Out Your Balls. It's easy to play. Just take out your balls. <laughs> so pour me a bud. I'll pour you a bass. Put a potato in a cannon and fire it up in the air. <laughs> Heidi he, Heidi ho. Heidi hi, Heidi he. Everyone, we're fat and we're Irish, we're drunk and we're gay. Well, that wasn't everyone, was it? <laughs> Heidi he, Heidi ho, Heidi hi, Heidi hey. Everyone, we're fat and we're Irish, we're drunk and we're gay. I'm gonna keep doing this till everyone sings. 
and that'll get pretty f- annoying. Heidi he, Heidi ho, Heidi hey, Heidi he. We're we the fat. We're the Thank you all very much. That's my time. You're great. Thank <laughs> you.